It's Friday, July 11, 2014. I'm Janice Yamoka, and you're watching DX Daily. LeBron James, who left his hometown NBA team Cleveland Cavaliers after seven seasons to win two championships in four years with the Miami Heat, has revealed that he's going back home. In a letter written on Sports Illustrated, James wrote, My relationship with Northeast Ohio is bigger than basketball. I didn't realize that four years ago, I do now. Because rap and sports go hand in hand, rappers have responded to the latest NBA news. Freddie Gibbs tweeted, I'm getting that new King James jersey for show. Snoop Dogg shared a gin and juice ad on Instagram and wrote, Drinks on me. Congrats Cleveland on getting the king back on his throne. Dom Kennedy saw the perfect opportunity to plug his last album and tweeted, Get home safely, King James. Kid Cudi and Machine Gun Kelly, both from Cleveland, expressed their city's joy with Cudi tweeting, Now that's what I'm talking about. And MGK sharing a picture of James and writing, I'm happy that our city is happy. Cleveland forever. So far, many of Rap's reactions have been positive. In his latest vlog, Lil Wayne detailed a seizure he had at a Cash Money show. Wayne has said in previous interviews that he suffers from epilepsy, a neurological condition in which a person has repeated seizures over time. Watch Wheezy detail his attack. I had a seizure one day, and so I passed out on stage because of the heat. Heat, heat flashes give me seizures. That's one of the triggers. And I caught a fucking heat flash and bang, just dropped on stage. They rushed me to the back, took all my clothes off. You know everything you're supposed to do when you're having a seizure. Pump. Got better. Had to miss the next three or four shows though because you know doctor said you shouldn't be on stage and blah blah. blah. Lil Wayne made headlines when he suffered back-to-back -back seizures in 2012 and 2013. While battle rap fans await the battle between Joe Budden and Hall of the Dawn, Hip Hop DX has rounded out the MC's best battle bars. Joe Budden took lyrical shots at Jay-Z in a track titled Talk To Him and Game in a track titled Game Over, just to name a few. As for Hall of the Dawn, the editorial dives into some of his best battles against Averb and Big T, among others. Joe Budden and Hall of the Dawn's Total Slaughter Battle takes place Saturday, July 12th, which you can catch on pay-per-view. Those are today's top headlines. For more music and news, log on to hiphopdx.com.